Junior Senior. G'day everybody, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and with me today I have the absolutely wonderful and beautiful Lean. G'day Lean. Hello everybody. How are you today Lean? I'm not too bad. I do have a bit of a cough so I'll try not to do that but I can't promise anything. <laughs> yeah Lean's not feeling, uh, well she, yeah just a little bit of a cough and a bit of a, I'm bit of a cold. cold. A head cold? I've got so a head cold. It's head getting cold? going away, but every now and then. I you have to cough, cough and. Uh, it, needs to, uh, it sounds like that, doesn't it? It's like. Uh, really um, bad, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, look, thank you very much. We'll hear a little bit from Lean later, but right now we're actually going to be doing Hi. the. Uh, mod review for the Kenworth W900A. Now, this is the most recent version of this truck and you will be able to get a copy of this for free in the Steam Workshop. Now, the link for that is in the description. If you click on Show More, you'll be able to have a look. Uh, will you be able to get a copy of that? So, there we go. So, let's have a look. We're going to the truck dealers here. And hello to everybody that has joined us in the stream. Thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, we'll have a chat with you a little bit later. But for now, uh, what we're going to do is uh, all your chat questions and everything like that. Uh, Lean and... Uh, I'm not sure if we've got any admin team here actually at the moment. But, Lee, but it's just you, isn't it, Lean? Just you, yeah. Uh, so basically, Lean will try to answer any questions. Anything she can't answer, uh, she will uh, highlight and bring to my attention a little bit later on at the end of the stream. But for now, uh, we're going to hook right into this. Uh, this, what are we doing again? Mod review. That's right. <laughs> Jeez. So let's head over to the uh, Discover Truck Dealers, and then we have the Access Mod Dealer. Now over here, as you can see. There is the Kenworth W900A day cab, and we're going to have a look at the customized configuration to check it out. Uh, now, there we go. Uh, first of all, we've got a few different cabins. So, the day cab, which is the first one, there is a uh, custom bunk that you can have a look there. And there is also a double bunk, which you can have a look, and a flat top. So, there's a few different choices that you can choose. Um, not sure if it actually changes. If we have a look here on the inside, does it change? I don't think it does. If we have a look at, say, the skinnier one, and then we go to the inside. No, it's exactly the same. What about if we go day cab? Does that actually change? Let's have a look. Oh, there's a big... Oh, no, no, it's a window. It's a window. I thought there was a big hole in there, but no, there's a window. So that is perfectly fine. Uh, but there you go. There's a few different changes that you can do right there. Now, uh, having a look at the chassis, there is the 6x4. There's the long chassis 6x4 and the medium chassis 6x4. So there's a few different choices. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Junior. Junior just bought me a drink here from um, Big M. Big M. <laughs> and um, so yeah there's a few different choices that you can choose there which is pretty cool now engines having a look at the engines that you can actually choose here vector be quiet uh, now if we have a look there's the caterpillar 3408 yes that we don't see enough in the actual modding world uh, 3408 is in this mod and we'll have it we'll check that out a little bit later now we've also got the ISX 12 and there is the ISX 15 there as well the 3406 yes alongside the 3408 which is really really good uh, there's also another Cummins there there's the uh, what else we got we got cat Cummins again ah DD's 8v 71 which is very good there's a 671 8v92 and there's a few different ones here uh, we got uh, this is one I've not seen before a Cummins NTC 350 that's really cool and there's your N14 uh, 6NZ 
6 nz 475 that's interesting and then we've got a formula 350 and is vector going to sleep he's making a lot of noise today uh, and there's the Detroit 8V92 again. And the 8V71. So you've got like a ton of engines to choose from, as you can see. Plenty. What's that? A KT450 as well. There's going to be a lot of engines we have to test out. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, Det yeah, Detroit Diesel 60 Series in there. The big... Here we go, Cummins Big Cam 500 tuned. I want to test that, definitely, because I want to see if it's actually got the Big Cam rocking sound, you know? Uh, what else do we have? The N14, good old classic engine there. And there we go. So, a lot of engines to cover, a lot of different sounds. And it's going to be very interesting to see if those engines are, you know, they do change the sounds or if it's the same sound or not. So... We'll have a look at those a little bit later. Now for transmissions, you've got the Spicer, which is a six speed. Uh, then you've got its respected retarder. Uh, the nine speed, 14 speed, 10 speed, 13 speed, 18 speed. And look, there's, there's more 13 speeds, different diff ratios, heaps to choose from. So there's something there for everyone, which is really, really good. Now, uh, there's also the interior that we have that we have a look at. Now, there is only one interior to choose from. Uh, around 1974, I'm not sure if there was a lot to choose from. Um, I don't know, but um, it's very interesting to see that uh, this looks very, very nice inside. Very nice. And uh, let's go and have a look at the paint jobs. Now there's tons to choose from in here. Now we do have your, we do have the uh, the different colours that you can choose from, custom colours. And there we go. There's a whole heap of custom colours, multitudes of colours that you can choose from. Go crazy on colours, you really can. And then we have, if you just want to select anything, you got your, you know, blacks, blues, reds, aquamarines, basalts, whites, you know plum there there's gray and there's a whole heap of skins that you can choose as well so there is the classic bandit skin that you can choose there and there's a few different other ones that you can choose which you can change to color which is really good custom and i cannot believe i cannot believe that uh somebody's ringing <laughs> Uh, then we've got uh, Custom. That was actually Creepy Dr. House. He's probably ringing up going, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> and I apologize, guys. I forgot to turn my phone off. I should have remembered that. So there's a, a heap of different variations you can choose here. Look at that metallic, which is really cool. Um, and there we go. There is, a, what's that? A Lone Walker. Very nice. That one's pretty cool. Can't change the color on this one, though. That's pretty much it. That's a classic, classic skin, that is. Uh, gr uh, red, gray, white. And then we've got Snowman. It says Bandit, and there's the uh, Snowman who drives that truck. So that's a really a classic skin, that is. It really, really is. White Knight. There's White Knight 2. Wings. I like that, how it's got the wings on the front of the actual truck. Look really cool. Uh, several different skins that you can choose from, and it really does look great with any of these skins that you choose. Now, there is a gold nugget. Now, this, if you're Aussie, this is different to our Aussie gold nugget. It is not the same. Uh, the American gold nugget was pretty much like this. All right, so... This is pretty damn close to what it was. And I did find another version which had the stripes going up instead of down. And I don't know if that's legit or not. But anyway, this looks pretty damn good. Uh, on the Australian version, we do have that guy there with the gold nugget. But he's down here. So, uh, and that is in the uh, Kenworth Hall of Fame uh, Museum in uh, Alice Springs. So you can see that. 
Now let's have a look at the metallics. Let's check those metallics out. You've got one color working. There is the second color. And there is the third. You can see that that works quite well. So that is really cool. Love to see the metallics working well. Uh, which skin to choose? Well, that is really, really hard, but easy for me because I just choose the bandit one. It's really cool. Now let's have a look at the accessories that you can get in this mod. Now, first of all, there is a whole heap of... Yeah, there wasn't moving the bloody thing. There we go, now it is. Uh, there's a whole heap of different bumpers you can choose. You got your oversize that you can put on there. There's a pretty... That's an extended sort of bumper. It's almost like two bumpers put together, isn't it? There's that one. I like that one. And then you can get oversized for that one as well. That one there. There's that one. Heaps of different versions of this, these bumpers. That's actually really cool. I like that. Uh, there's another different one there. There's your Texas Roll then. That's a classic bumper. I think that fits on... On pretty much any truck doesn't it the classic texas rolled end or whatever it is texas rolled end is what it's called senior uh a, a bull bar that's the sort of bull bar you see on logging trucks and there's a, a bull bar that i don't know it looks weird to me but anyway and you can have an oversized flag on there as well you can take the bumper off oh yeah you can look at that just completely remove it if you want to uh, we'll just leave that standard one on for now. Now, there's also uh, the Fender... Well, it says Fender Guards, but it's actually goes... It's a little uh, light, little bit of trim for the light there, which makes it look cool. And there's also another one as well. What's the difference between that one and that one? Oh, yeah, slight difference. Not much, but slight difference. Uh, and you can remove it as well. But, oh yeah, it adds the eyelids. That's what the difference is. Oh, I see. There we go. It has the eyelids on there. That's what the difference is. Right. Well, let's chuck some eyelids on. I like eyelids on the lights. Uh, then we have uh, reflectors. Uh, now, fender side reflectors. Now, I don't know if you can actually see that. It is a little bit hard to see that one, but you can see that there. That one there is, you can actually see. I, I don't even, well, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like there's anything there actually, but when you put that one on, you can, you can clearly see it. So there we go, there is one. Well, I can anyway. There's one right there. Um, then we have, then we have these little signal lights on the side there. And as you can see, there we go. Look pretty cool. Uh, actually, if there is a reflector, I know. See, it doesn't. There's not one there. You might see it with the lights on. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Uh, now back to the signal lights. Uh, there's two, and there's also three that you can have on there as well. I particularly don't like those on this, but each to their own. I mean, if you like it, then you can chuck it on. Why not? Uh, now, for some reason. Whether you like it or not, you've got that little LED light there that shows up. So, see how it's in line with that? I don't know why that's there. It, it's You've taken the light out, so that shouldn't actually be there. But it is. So, um, that's just something to you know bear in mind with this mod. So, uh, moving along, there's the mirrors on the side. And if we go to this one... There's a slight little problem. You can have the mirrors there, right? But if you want to have the mirrors and you want to have a grill item on the grill, right, you, you can't have both for some reason. Uh, that one is not even showing up. I don't know why that's not even showing up. But anyway, uh, we just go that. Oh, right. Okay, I see. There we go. So there, that's there. And then if we click on that, it changes the grill for some reason. It's not even related to the grill. And then if we put that one on there, it actually puts a swan on there, some handles on there so you can reef the uh, bonnet up. And then we have the hood trim. Just the, basically, the the swan with the handles and changes the, the grill. That's all. 
So it is a little bit confusing there. Uh, I don't know why that's on that dot. It, it looks like it's an error. So there's also the uh, swan on there as well, which you can put. Now, what happens if we go and put that swan on and then we put that swan on? Does it double the swan? Do we get two swans or is it just one swan? Still one swan, isn't it? Oh, no. Look at... Is it double? It almost looks double. If the damn bloody screen would stay still, we might be able to look at it a bit better. No, it's not double. It does... I thought it was, but it's not. So, there you go. But it is interesting. That uh, error would bug me. So, something they might have to just grin and bear, I guess. Now, uh, over here, we have the uh, chrome air cleaners. You can put chrome air cleaners on or paint. If you want paint, you just remove that. Then we have the dash. You can have a brown leather, which we can't see from the outside here, but you can see. Can't even see the dash. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can. Actually, let me... Ah, there we go. You can see it. So it's painted there, and then it's got leather on it there. Very good. But we'll have a closer look at that inside the truck. Now for the sun visor. Up the top there, you've got a few different kinds of sun visors. There's a bow tie. A uh, painted bow tie. There's, uh, you know, there's this sort of, yeah, it's like a, it's this custom visor too. So it's more of a like wraparound visor, isn't it? Painted version of that. There's a, I don't even know what kind of visor that is, but it's different. Definitely different. And then we have uh, a larger version, painted version of it. There's a, the classic one in chrome. And then you have the, the painted one as well. So uh, a few different kinds, which is, is good to see. It's good to see that there is a, a, a bit of a selection. Now, uh, one thing that I really hate is the wrong picture for the wrong item. But it's happening way too often these days. It really is. People just don't change those pictures over for some reason. And uh, we have horns. So there's a couple of different kinds of horns you can have, which is really cool. Your rectangle ones, your round ones, and covered with round. And then there's those ones there, which are actually pretty cool. I like those. Uh, what else we got? Air conditioning. You want to keep cool when you're driving, especially if you're in Australia. And uh, a few different kinds of air conditioners there. Beacons on the top. Your beacon lights, especially if you're going to do a heavy haul, you want to have those beacons. And there's also a wing on the back there. Um, interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a W900 with that on, but uh, there you go. It's very old school, isn't it? Very old school. I, I would say that that looks better on a Mac than what it does on the, uh, the Kenworth. But anyway. Now, down the bottom there is the flags. You can have your warning flags if you want to. And we have here is the light bar. Now, there is a light bar. You can just have a chrome strip. You can have lights on there. And then you can have those kind of lights on there as well. Now, there is a spot, if I can find it, if I can find the damn thing. Um, no, that's the exhaust. There is a spot around here, and I, I had trouble finding it before. But it allows you to change the lights, different variants of the lights, which was I thought was cool. I thought that was a good idea. But I don't always find it. So we might keep going and see if we can come across it later. Now, uh, there's the exhaust. So you get a few different exhausts. Your uh, standard singular exhaust, which is what I believe to be the standard version of this truck. Uh, then you can get to twins. There's like a very skinny exhaust there um, so more thicker which is more common these days isn't it that actually looks that's different very different that is mitered sort of edges straight up pipes and then you've got a few different other styles which look pretty cool it's your standard one again a singular over that side so you can see there's heaps to choose from with the exhaust, which, you know, we love our options. 
And there we go, look more. And where is it? There's a couple that were... There you go, that's really tall. It's a very tall sort of uh, exhaust. Straight sort of pipe. So heaps to choose from, guys. There is uh, quite a lot of uh, stacks to choose from. It's uh, That's actually... I like that one. Because that's, you know, nice and thick and tall. So there you go. Um, now, what else do we have? What else do we have? There is... The tanks. Now, if you can see the tanks down here, we have a look. Switch these tanks. You can change the straps. And there's painted tanks, chrome straps, and then you've got uh, other different kind of tank there. And there we go. It's painted as well. So you can see there's steps and that you can that are on there to make it look different. So depending on what you actually like. There's a few different variants there, which is really cool. Wings, uh, what else we got there? There is your different kind of pogo stick. Now, I noticed that it changed. There was a little box that was under there, and when I clicked on that, it went away. Now, if I go to remove that, it removes the pogo stick altogether. So I don't know what's happened there. That's a bit weird. So that's, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what happened. Now up here we have uh, different fenders that you can choose. Some nice custom ones. Some chrome type ones. There's a nice custom one. A half, half one. There's full ones there. Uh, and again, it just depends on what you like, really. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just like those ones. They're cool. Now, uh... There's a few different things that you can select here. You can have your air horns facing down, uh, up, you know, forward or to the rear. There's a toolbox there, and also some stairs that you can have as well. Now, um, we will get to it a bit later, but there's also the same thing on the other side as well. Now, while I'm here, I may as well uh, think about it and talk about it, but briefly. There is the standard tires and standard rims that you can choose. So uh, again, as the same as last week, if you want to add rims in there, I suggest downloading a rim pack that you can get off the Steam Workshop. So they're pretty much everywhere now. Then they'll they'll go on any truck. Um, same thing for the rims on the back there. Now up the very back on the rear bumper, you've got a few different variations of rear bumper that you can choose. And there's even that one there without any little mud flaps. So, uh, what's that there? There is there is a accessory slot, but there is nothing in the accessory slot. So, that's a shame. A bit of a wasted opportunity there, but never mind. You got a headache rack on the back there. If you want to chuck that out, uh, chuck that on. So there's your disco lights there. If you're sort of more like a recovery vehicle now, isn't it? Still, that's pretty cool, because you can do uh, recovery jobs now, so there you go, that'll work. Um, and this one here, you can go, well, you should be able to stick a whole lot of lights on, but I couldn't seem to get it to work, so that's a bit of a shame. Uh, as standard, you would have thought that they would have come with lights, but anyway. There's your exhaust again. Uh, there's that little slot for your... Uh, steps and horns and stuff like that there you go same thing horns and there is your steps on the side there or you can have a toolbox I actually like the toolbox uh, on the side because it has you know got your wheel chocks and a toolbox you can put crap in there and it is also a stairs as well steps as well so it's it sort of has multiple purposes your exhaust, uh, main mirrors, I must have missed those before, but there's your main mirrors. Uh, you can have those there with the antennas, uh, you know, going forward like your fishing lines. And then you've got your straight up antennas. Uh, the old school type mirrors with the antennas going forward, straight up, uh, no antennas, and there you go, you can go and you know, put your uh, lamp on there. Lollipops, sorry. You can have lollipops on the top there. Or you can put your lollipops down the bottom there if you want. Whichever you want. 
which is really cool. Very good idea, that. And uh, spinning it back around over there is your flag, and that is pretty much it. Now, uh, I couldn't find, I couldn't find that thing to change the lights. I don't know where it went to. Maybe it's with a different cabin or something, I don't know. But there was an option for me to change the lights. And uh, not sure, not sure where it's actually gone. But anyway, uh, at least, you know, you know that it's actually there. There's the, yeah, oh, that's the step. Where's that gone now? What's that? There you go. There's a step that you can put on just on the side of the tank there. There you go. Uh, and you can have both sides or just right side or left side if you want. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, I think that was it. If I have missed anything, guys, I do apologize. Um, there... Well, there's not too much this week, but if I do miss something, it gives you an idea of what's there, you know? General gist. Now, let's have a look at the inside. Up the top here, what do we have? Uh, that is the... Uh, that's the mirrors. And this is probably a better place to put on your uh, lollipops because you can see them a lot better. And if you go over the other side here, see so you can go and put on uh, your right side lollipop and, you know, makes it... I, I just think it's a lot easier to see it right here. Uh, then you've got your mirrors uh, on the uh, front there that you can chuck on if you want to chuck your mirrors on. And they actually work really well on this, which I like. Uh, it's no good having these mirrors if they don't work well at all. So, you know, you may as well just chuck them off, really. Get rid of them. Uh, and then you can see there, there is the uh, hood dove. It says hood dove, whatever. Oh, this is something I missed as well. On the front, there is... You've got your wind deflector, which you can have as different colours. There's a couple, There's two different kinds, or sorry, a few different kinds. You can change your colours and have a look at. So, But uh, one thing, if you put that on there, it does sort of go through the ornament, the hood ornament, a bit. I don't know if you can see that, but it sort of, yeah, the hood ornament goes through it a little bit, not much. But anyway, um, and then what else? You can go over here, there's your mirror. There's that uh, dash, the leather on the dash. So if you want to remove that there, you can. There's just painted, and there's the dash. I actually think it looks better with the leather on there, but that's personal choice. Then over here, you've got your steering wheels. If you want to have your SCI steering wheels, you can. They work well. And, you know, all of them uh, work really well on there, which is great. I think for today, it's just going to be the standard one. And you can also go and put your knob on the steering wheel as well. Uh, Sissel's Mega Pack does work with this, but uh, doesn't work completely. So just keep that in mind. Like, there's not an accessory slot, so you can't put accessories. There's no hanging things, so you can't hang things. That sort of thing. So, But some things do work. Uh, what else do we have around here? There we go. Up the top there, there is the mirrors again. And there is the sun visor. And that's pretty much it. There's a shotgun right next to me, just in case somebody tries to rob you. Shoot their face off. Um, what else? Oh, that dot there is the bumper. I don't know why they put that bumper inside the, the truck, because you can't see it, so it's pointless. But anyway, there we go. That's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to get out of this, and we're going to uh, have a look at one that I made earlier, which you'll be pleasantly surprised. It is the snowman, well, Bandit and Snowman's truck from Smokey and the Bandit. And yes, we do have the trailer today. I got that. Now, um, one other thing that I did want to talk about, guys, is I want to quickly go through and show you that this is on the Steam Workshop. It's the 1974 Kenworth W900A here it is here and I will let you know that all credits have been give it, given to the correct people which we really love to see that so truck model there was uh, Steve Roach truck parts we've got X-Driver Drobets uh, Bayonet EVH510 sorry mate whatever that is I don't know what that is Oven Ovenhelm and then there's Rock Hobbit as well um uh, Oh, there's Corby. There's more people here. Oh, wow. Uh, there's Colonial. Uh, there's Silver, Silverado HD. Stas 556. Dimitri. Creech Bum. 
and uh, Steve. So the original guys from this, I believe, was Stas, Dimitri, and Creech Bum uh, that that made this. So there we go. Uh, there's also some more guys there: Redneck, David, uh, Hester, Thomas, uh, Perfum. Look, heaps of heaps of people. There's all of them. There, skins by Goran. Uh, so there we go. And special thanks to Chief86. A few people there. So it's all listed, guys. There is the Facebook groups there. Uh, if you want to check it out, please do. Uh, and also, there's some photos there if you want to have a look at that as well. Another thing that I also wanted to show you as well is... Uh, we've started doing this recently. And um, i got to remember, where is it now? Did I put it there? No, there it is there. Uh, this is the brochure. Now, you can... The brochure to the W900A is care of trucksplanet.com. Thank you very much, guys, for doing a wonderful job. The link to this page that I'm on now is in the description. Just click on Show More. You can have a look at a few different paint jobs for the uh, W900A. And also, down the bottom is the original brochure, which I love to look at. I love to look at these brochures. See, very cool. Don't know what the bush has got to do with it there, but anyway... And there's some cattle there. Must be Kenworth cattle. Dunno. No, there's the picture that uh, that goes with it. So they tend to spill their overlay over two pages, which, you know, looked good back then, but doesn't look so good now. Uh, that is... Now, you notice that skin there? That is a classic skin that is in this, uh, this mod, which is really cool. And there's some cowboys waving. Hello, cowboys. Why the hell are you waving? But anyway doesn't matter uh there's another uh w900a there as well hauling a load could be grain could be anything couldn't it there's a bull bar that's not in the mod but looks pretty cool doesn't it looks like it's for a logging vehicle or something a mining vehicle or something like heavy haul like in this one here it's for a heavy haul vehicle so there's a brochure there if you want to check that out and have a look at uh at the uh you know the W900A when it came out. Pretty cool. There's a whole heap of different information there for you. And uh, there you go. There's the back page. Uh, if you want, you can print it out as well. You can really go crazy. But there you go, guys. I thought I'd show, quickly show you that. That looks pretty damn cool. I love those brochures. Love them. Right. Well, let's bring Lean back in. And Lean, have you got any uh, more chat? You got any chat there to talk about? No. Everyone just saying how much they like it and they're all saying hello and it says stop chit chatting and get on with the truck I did. <laughs> I did I did get on with the truck I just want to show you the brochures and stuff like that so you can relay it and you know have a look and say yeah that looks pretty close to the original thing you know that's all I wanted to show you know no big deal right uh, let's go and check out some engines so this is the first engine The engine sounds are a lot clearer this week than what they were last week. And, um... There we go, there's the inside there. It seems to be a lot louder on the inside, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, let's go forward and we will have a look at the next... Move that drink, it's in the road. Have a look at the next, um, next engine, shall we? All right. So, what was that engine? That engine <coughs> there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that engine there was um, the. Let's have a look. That was the Caterpillar three four zero eight. Now let's have a look at the Cummins ISX. Spin that around, and start her up. There you go. And we have to reverse. Let's reverse. And go forward. And please, SCS, fix that like it used to be. It is a pain in the ass at the moment. It really is. Um, now, off to the next engine there. That was the ISX 12. Let's have a look at the 3406. Few engines to go through today, guys. 
this data up. It's funny. It sounds the same. Does that not sound the same? That is... Sounds the same to me. Alright. Uh, let's go in and check out another engine. Uh, let's see, uh, what do we got? The Cat C15. Let's have a look at that one. That should be different. Unfortunately, it is the same. The engine sounds are all the same by the look of it. I will continue on and have a look at some other engines there. Uh, let's go in and uh, have a look at, say, DD 8V. There's 8V will definitely be totally different to the others, you know? So, yes. Okay, we got one. That sounds awesome. Right, so the 8V is definitely different. And we'll go in and check out the other engines now. Um, what else have we got in here? So the 6, 671, now that's going to sound different to the 8V. It should sound different to the 8V. But does it? That's the question. It does. That's a real screamer. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, could you imagine ripping down the highway with that? That sounds really good, that does. All right, let's uh, go back into the truck configuration there. And what else do we have? We got the 8V we already had a look at. The triple four. Cummins triple four series. Let's have a listen to that. There you go. That's sounding different. Let's have a look at the errors. Uh, there's a couple of errors there. Got the deaf vehicle truck came with uh, that's SII the uh, NTC 350. So there's a couple of errors there that we do have. Not a great deal though, by the looks of it. Just a few. Now uh, I'm gonna back it up. That's nice sounding as well, isn't it? There we go, and let's jump in and have a look at what else we have here. So the DD8V we had to listen to, and that was a real screamer. There is the 625C15, that will be the... I'm gonna just click on it anyway, we may as well, there's heaps of engines to go through, so... May as well, may as well check them all out. There we go, and reverse that sucker. And, uh, there we go, back in again, and let's have another look at what else we've got. Uh, there we go, NTC 350. Now, I think this is the one that this was actually erroring out. This had an error, so let's see what happens when we start it up. It still works, which is good. It's probably only a small error then. And go back in and try another one. 
And what else do we have? This is the N14. Did we try? I'm pretty sure we tried the N. Did we? No, it was a triple four we tried. So let's try the N14 now. Spin that round. There we go, and that actually, see, all these engines sound pretty good. I was actually thinking that, because the first couple sounded the same, I was thinking that the rest of them were going to sound the same, but no, I'm glad they didn't. Um, let's fire that one up. Well, that's a different sounding engine, isn't it? I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. You can you can really hear the turbo whining in that and and that's really cool. Uh what else do we have here? There is the Formula 350. Got to check that one out. And fire it up. And uh, got to back it up. I keep forgetting I have to do that. And oh, there we go. All right, now what else do we have in here? Let's see. We have the 8V92. Where? What else do we have? The NTC 400. We already had a look at that. Yes, we did. So the NTC there, there's a formula. Caterpillar 3408 we had a look at. There's the Federal Injector 671. Um, the KT450. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. And... Oh, it's the same sound as the other one that we had a look at, so... Just wanted to check it out to see if it was or not. I had a feeling it was. And what else do we have? We're probably coming to the end of the engine list now. KT, the N14. Damn it, I can't even remember if we had a look at the N14, did we? What's that? 525. N14, N14, this formula. N14, yes, there it is there. We had a look at that. Um, 6NZ. 8V Cummins 44. Big cams, that's what I want to have a look at. Let's have a look at those big cams. We want to hear those big cams are rocking. You know, that's, that's what we want to hear. Is it? No. You can't hear those big cams are rocking. That's a shame. That's a shame that you can't hear those big cams. Anyway, um, they're not big enough cams. They're big cams, but they're not big enough. We want the massive cams that go, that make that rat, 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 rat noise. That's what we want. Yes, that's big cams. That's what I call big cams. Um, now, what else do we have here in this list? Uh, it's the N14 chipped. We've got the uh, KTA 600. I think that's pretty much it. Big cam Cummins there. The N14 injectors. Uh, the 60 series. We didn't have a look at the DD60 series, did we? And start her up. There you go. That sounds just like a 60 series to me. And away we go back in again. Oh man, that's got to be annoying for you guys as well as me. 
now up to what else do we have N14 that's it that is all the engines so I don't know which one let's I, I think I'm gonna go with the 3408 only because we don't hear that enough you know we don't see it sorry we don't see it enough in the in the game you know for the mods 550 is uh, sufficient there we go that's what I'm gonna use good old engine that one oops what happened I run out of fuel there we go it stalled for some reason I don't know why right well that let's uh, do a quick test on the lights so we got the lights there uh, what about high beams hang on I got to dodge past all my drinks I got here uh, there's the the high beams there uh, beacons we didn't I didn't put any on uh, flashes we got any flashes yeah there we go there's flashes and uh, horn air horn ah oh, yeah that's that's I like that air horn I really do that's classic that's what I got him that sounds like a horn I have on my truck in real life just trying to just trying to fix up my headphones here there we go that's better that's working now uh, now what else do we have wipers yes wipers are working I don't know if you can see that there if we zoom in they are working there is the second setting and look there's a third setting that's great it's up to date now what else do we have uh, drop axle no no beacons we checked that's right uh, flashes will turn off um, right now the last thing that I am going to test but I am going to save this first because Oh man, this crashes so many mods. It really does. There we go. W900A. Thank you very much. Save that. And then back to the mod. Now, let's have a look on the inside here. Look at that dash. Isn't that nice? That is really, really nice dash. That's very nice, actually the gauges are actually not too bad not crystal clear but they're they're good enough you can read them which is great now uh, let's push display and see what happens oh nothing's happening that's good we don't want to crash anyway so the actual display part you're pushing the display button uh, on these older trucks especially can crash it but not on this one which is really good that's great very good the wipers work on the inside yes they do very very good wait, 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 wait. okay you can turn off now thank you well guys that is pretty much it for the mod review part now we're going to go pick up a load now and do a drive around and see what we can actually see what we can see that's what we're going to do lean hang on i'll turn your mic on there we go there you go that sounds great that sounds great well um i'll let you catch up with chat i'm going to have a drink Alright, well, everyone was just saying about you got the Smokey and the Bandit truck. Um, somebody wants the movie made again. And everybody was saying hello. And S somebody wants a what? A new Smokey and the Bandit movie made. Oh, a new one? Well, how are you going to make a new one? I don't know. Jacob Harrison says, I've seen you. I finally moved out of Baytown, Sydney. Oh, right, okay. Very good. Time to drive, Frank says. Um, there was actually... Uh, Why couldn't they make a new one? They make remake everything. Oh, I don't want them to remake that. That's a classic. Oh, um, they yes. they was actually thought they were going to remake the Smokey and a Bandit movie with Charlie Sheen as the Bandit. But I don't know what happened with that. That might have just been a rumour. I don't know. It was weird. I don't know if Charlie Sheen would actually... <laughs> I don't know if he would be a really good Bandit or not don't know um having a look let's have a look at this market here what do we got t-shirts we got uh, packaged food tvs 
don't know, I'm trying to find a decent load. It's mostly empty pallets. Any other chat there, Lee? Not really. Everybody's just talking about Smokey and the Bandit. You know, everyone's saying hello. Furniture. We're going from furniture. There We're going to go. There wasn't much in the chat. San Francisco to y Yakima. Yakima, Western Australia, Yakima. it looks like. Yakima. Yakima. up. Yeah. <laughs> Yak them up Western Australia, it says. Well, it's not Western Australia. It's in America. So it can't be Western Australia. Oh, let's see. Who we got there? We got Game on John and Frank. G'day, guys. There's Jacobs there. G'day. Captain Jesse's in yes, there. Yes, they're all there. Yeah. G'day, guys. New Zealand Stig was there at some point. Oh, New Zealand Stig's in there? Yeah, he was. Chris Keller's there. Jimmy Bartlett was there. G'day, guys. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, Frank's Bloody there. Wipers. Wipe. There we go. Thank you. Damn things wouldn't turn off. Redneck Onion was there. Redneck Onion. Redneck Onion. Um... Jacob says, find some elephants. I don't know what that means. Captain <laughs> says, find some elephants. My dream new cast for Smokey and the Bandit casting Senior and Lean and Tom Cruise. No, thank you. <laughs> no, Lean wouldn't be in that because Lean does not like anything to do with cameras, and Tom uh, photos. Uh, I do have some very rare photos of Lean, but she's screwing up her face. So, not always smiling. Crazy's some... there. G'day, Crazy. How's it going, mate? Now, um, the late str we are streaming a bit late today, but that's because I had to work today. And is the audio going funny? The audio is going funny for some reason. On the game, it's crackling. <laughs> yeah, no, not cackling, crackling. For some reason, it might be my headphones, I think. My headphones are not the not the greatest. On, yeah, it's my headphones. There we go. There we go. My headphones were crackling. Hang on. Let me. There we go. Hopefully that's. Can be a, a talker, talking truck. A talking truck. Yeah. On trucks. It'd be instead of cars, it's trucks. Son of Aussie Trucker says, hey mate, I'm starting your K200 drawing sometime today. Oh, sweet. That'd be good. There were some elephants in the movie, okay. Yeah, in the in the movie. Frank says, seeing you let you know I got my merch on Wednesday. Oh, great. That's that's very good, mate. Very good. And Mike says hello to us. Hello. 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 This is driving really nice. This is very smooth. Smooth operator. Seems to be, yeah. Yeah, look, it's just seems to be driving really nice. It's floating the gears quite nice. There we go, I'm ripping through them really quickly. So that's really good. Yeah, it seems to. This is actually driving surprisingly well. I thought it was going to be a little bit rough with the drive, but no. Rough. Rough. No, it's not. It's uh, quite nice to drive. So the overall of it, though, there was a few errors that we did see in there, and there was a couple of mistakes, things popping up where you didn't expect them to pop up and you know stuff like that which was um, yeah, a little bit of a bummer maybe in the future they can get fixed up so you know it's not well it's not too bad though they're not unforgiving but it's just something that can be improved on that's all and if you look past that then you know you probably won't even screw you and your red light you damn bloody red light signal fine thing whatever Evan is cool says hello the speedo tells you the wrong speed Joshua says 
is it? Is the speedo telling you the wrong speed? Uh, it is telling me the wrong speed, yes. Uh, that's very good that you spotted that, mate. Jacob says, essentially you're driving the truck, play eastbound and down like they played in the movie. <laughs> yeah, we'll get a copyright infringement there. <laughs> Guaranteed. So let's watch this speedo here and see if it is. I'll sit on... No, there's 10 kilometers, uh, there's 10, 10 miles per hour, and we're sitting on 10 miles per hour, so it is correct. It just looked like it was incorrect for some reason. Jeez, I'm driving up the gutter, I'm not even watching what I'm doing, Lee. Wow, this is just driving so easy. Easy peasy. And ripping through the gears is so, so easy as well. Don't you hate it when you have your foot half on the clutch? <laughs> no, I don't have a clutch. <laughs> I was doing that then. <laughs> Didn't realise I had my foot pressed off on the clutch. <laughs> Chuck that in second, there we go. Pay attention to the damn road, senior, Jacob says. Yes, I should, shouldn't I? Need to. Now, um, don't forget, tomorrow, guys, we will be streaming our normal time. Uh, and we do have a special uh, stream that we will be doing tomorrow. Now, unfortunately, Lean, you won't be with us tomorrow, will no, you? No, I will not be. No. But at least we got you into one stream this week. Yes. That's good. And uh, tomorrow, our stream will be something uh, to do with the 50th anniversary of uh, the landing on the moon. So, and there will be some giveaways. <gasps> Lean, did I spoil something yep. by telling people that? Yeah, they're going to be bugging you, bugging you, bugging you. There bugging will be you, giveaways. Bugging you, bugging you, bugging you. But we can't tell you what it is until tomorrow, guys. So, you're just going to have to wait and see. Just going to have to wait and see. You probably could figure out what it is if you looked around hard enough, I reckon, but we're not going to tell you. <laughs> That's the way we are. So make sure you tune in for that, guys. Son of Aussie Trucker says, Senior, those T908s fell through, I was looking at. Oh, did they, mate? Oh, that's no good. But uh, these things happen, mate, and you just got to keep looking around. That's the problem when you're looking at vehicles, trucks, cars, same thing. You know, you look you look good on paper, but when you look at them in real life, they're not so good. For some reason, I thought that was a truck and it's sign said road work ahead on it. No. Oh my goodness. What am I smoking? All right, now. We have to wait for this because we can't turn on uh, turn on left here. Damn lights take forever. Damn lights. Who do they think they are? Who do they think they are, Lee? Who do they Man, I, I am so surprised at how nice this is driving. Right, now where is this pickup point? Just down here, I reckon. And, oh, we got to back it in, do we? No worries, let's back that in. 
Ah, oh, shit, that's right, it's, uh... I'm gonna blindside it. So you knew you smoking crack or something? Am I what? Jacob wants to know, are you smoking crack or something? No, <laughs> no I'm not. I'm just normally like this crazy. These uh, mirrors, uh, blindsiding these mirrors is actually not too bad. Look at that. I can actually see what I'm, where I'm going. Normally blindsiding is not a, a very good thing to do and you wouldn't do it. You'd try not to do it in real life. Shh, I just hit that wall. Shh. Mm -hmm. Stop talking and start concentrating. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you try not to do it in real life because you just can't see properly. You can easily run into things. But hit look walls. at hit walls like I just did, yeah. But that was actually uh, not your fault. No, <laughs> it was my fault. Um, but you know, backing that up wasn't too bad. Let's just put that over there in the hole. Oh fuck! What did he hit near? Another wall. He hit another wall. I hit another wall again. Yes, I am a real truck driver, but for some reason I'm having disabilities at this point in time. Uh, Jeff Jam Jeff Jam ninety four wants to know anyone else having the problem that both ATS and ETS two crash upon loading your profile on both single player and multiplayer. It happens often for me. Some days the game works, but other days they don't. No. Uh, are you sure that's with the? Is it do it with other games or just that game? ATS and ETS. Yeah, just. Just those SCS games, or? Senior, is this your favourite? My favourite truck? No. Mm, it's the K200. No, it's not my favourite truck, <laughs> this one. It's a good truck, but it's not my favourite. Man, my K200, I have got a big thumping uh, Cummins uh, big cam in it, and it rattles the house when I put it through the speakers. I have to do it when nobody's home because it just makes one hell of a noise. And everyone gets upset. <laughs> um, son of Ozzy Trucker says, Senior, are you on the piss? Stop stuffing up your uh, professional. <laughs> um, I have had a couple when I came home. Yes, I did have a couple of drinks, but it's all good. Uh, it's... Uh, it's a simulator. It's not real life. Real life, you would never, ever drink on the job. Never, ever. Don't drink while driving, guys. It's not a good idea. You end up killing someone and you'd be upset with yourself and people be upset with you and... Yeah, big problem. And you lose your license, too. Uh, trailer auto loading. Jacob no. says, "Hey, senior, I've actually backed up a truck to the trailer in real life." Oh, that's good, mate. Game on, John says, "Stop hitting the darn walls." They're hitting me. Captain Jesse says, "J94, are you running any mods?" Oh, that's the guy that's having problems. Uh, what am I doing now? That's right, I'm putting the brake on and uh, turning the truck off. And then I'm, uh, there we go. Jeff says it started, it only happens with SCS games and it started about three weeks ago, but they've only worked for about a week or so. Yeah, I'd start taking out mods, mate. I reckon it sounds like you've got mods in it. Um, or if you haven't got mods, then that's really weird. Why it would be doing that. Um, DirectX? I wonder if DirectX would do that, cause problems. Was it with the update that it started causing problems? Ago, said. Yeah, that that'd be about the update time. All right, so let's have a look at the map. Where are we off to today? We are off to. We're going all the way up to y Yakima, y y Yakima, Yakima, y Yukim, y yeah, whatever. We're going up here. <laughs> That's where we're going. Ah, <laughs> uh, all right. And what have we got on board? We have furniture, 17 tons. Going to Warburg. Helps if I take the brake off. I'll take the brake off, damn it. 
Yes, Victor. How do I get my CB mic to work on bottom box? Dakota wants to know. On button box? Um, there, button box, right? Yeah, there is a video that you can uh, check out on the um, on uh, Jim Kelly's website for his button box. He's got a... There's a driver you need to install and... Um, oh, come on. What, what happened here? There's a... A driver you need to install, and then you need to activate it on the um, controller. I on no, you need to activate it in the program, I believe. Uh, but have a look at the actual official video. There is a video there. If uh, my admin team was here, I'd get them to check it out. Is that indicated? Yeah, that indicated working. Hey, Vector. Good night. Yeah, we'll just skip a few gears, it's all good. Hey, Jacob wants to know, Sandy, can you do a flight simulator at some point? We can, we can do a flight simulator. That's not a problem, I'm not very good at flying, I'm more good at, I'm better at crashing. So it'd be more of a crashing simulator than a flying simulator. I have actually made it from point A to point B without crashing at one stage. But that's a rarity in itself. Let's just say in real life if I got given, if I was the pilot, you would be exiting the plane. <laughs> you would not want to fly with me. <laughs> Right, here we go, going under the bridge, and then we're going over the bridge. Uh, game on John wants to know which version of Direct, Direct X do you use? 9, 11, oh, that's for Jeff, sorry. Yeah, 9 or 11. Because the game uses both. Eleven is experimental at the moment. <laughs> Probably should be in this lane. Oh, I'll get in the gear. <laughs> Something you don't want as you're going up a hill for it to not be in gear. Rough senior, what are you doing? That's much better. We'll just leave crashing it in. Is the, sorry. Leave it in fourth and just get up this hill. You carry wind says crashing is the fun part. That is really nice sounding engine, I think. There's the cops. Sits nicely on the road too, look at that, dead smack in the middle. I like the details in this, I know the details and that were all originally done by um, Stas and Dimitri and you know, uh, but it still looks really nice after all this time, it really does. There's that banana break noise. Sounds great. Drives well, sounds good. It's 
got a lot going for it. And don't forget guys, you can get a copy of this from the Steam Workshop. If you click on show more down below the video, you will be able to see um, that there is a link down there that will take you to the Steam Workshop so you can have a look. This is a little bit confusing in this game where there's no lines. <laughs> where do you go? Wherever you want. Yeah, wherever you want. That's right. Uh, Jacob says, hey, Cindy, can you do a 2019 Freightliner Cascadia Revolution? Uh, mod review. Well, I have to have a look, guys, because we're... We're... Being really cautious with mod reviews. Uh, a lot of the mods that we do find aren't giving proper credit and they're stolen mods and stuff like that so we can't really review all mods like we used to so we're we're really just looking at quality rather than quantity now so we want to show you the best that we can find here we go let's turn the high beams on um, last year we were basically, I was just reviewing anything and everything and that to me became a problem because there was just so many mods that were just dodgy and just weren't really um, good quality. But um, I think if we do it this way, we're going to try it. So this year we're taking a different strategy and we'll try and do just the, the uh, quality rather than the quantity, which is what we're working on. Now, um, I have to have a look around for a mod for next week. Uh, we'll see what we can find, but I really want to try and do a mod review every week for you guys now. Do it live. I, I do have another one in mind, and I think that um, we can probably get away with uh, having a look at that, but I still have to look into it. What is that noise? Can you hear that noise, Lee? No. Hang on, I got it. I got this noise here. Holy moly, that's a horrible noise. I hope that's not going through the stream. Yeah, it's coming from your mic, Lee. Your mic stopped working. Yeah, I'll just switch it off now. And you got it back on? Hey? You said you were turning it off? No? Yes you can, you use a switch on the on the side. Is there? Yeah, it's still, still coming through. Just give me two seconds, guys. Let me see if I can fix Lean's mic. Oh my God, Lean, that's that's uh, horrible. Sometimes if we pull the power out and then plug it back in, it resets it. But we'll just wait and see. Sorry about that little popping. All right, Lean, let's try that. Did it work any better? It's not working at all now. Oh. Now try. Can you hear it still? No. All right. No, I, I oh, you try it again. Hello, hello, hello. Yep, oh, I know what it is, sorry. It's my headphones. Stupid bloody headphones. There we go. Try that again, Lee. Hello, everybody. Can you yep, hear me? Yep, that's perfect now. It fixed up. There we go. See, sometimes just by pulling the plug out and putting it back in fixes it. Ah, simple problem and it's solved really quickly. Put 
put the hammer down and see if we can get some uh, miles up. It uh, doesn't feel like I'm carrying 17 tonne. But anyway... <coughs> jam that cruise control on. And sit back and enjoy the view. It's one of the things I like about trucking is the different views. And also the idiots on the CV. <laughs> they make you laugh. <laughs> Floor it, Jacob says. No, nah, we're going to do the speed limit so we don't get fines. i got to present myself as a good example to you guys. That's funny, isn't it, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very funny. Yeah. Gotta jump in that lane. Yep. Alright. Alright, Game On John says, alright, this time I'm going for sure now. So, see you tomorrow, seeing you. See you, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Can't wait for tomorrow's stream, Lean. It's gonna be fun. Exciting things that you do at work today, Lee. Cooked. Cooked. <laughs> cooked. Cooked and cooked. Oh, and come cooked. on. Get. Oh, damn thing. Wouldn't get into gear. All I, all I was doing today was shifting trailers. Yeah, well. Hey, can you shift this trailer? Okay. Where do you want it? No, oh, we don't care as long as it's not in here. Alright, no worries. Let's go chuck it out the back. Yep. All right, another trailer? Yeah, no worries. Where do you want that one? Well, we don't care as long as it's not in here. All right, no worries. <laughs> uh, Crazy says he's been chilling out and relaxing. Oh, very good, mate. Very good. It's good to relax. I've got a damn indicator on. I'm going to do a bit of relaxing after the stream. Play a bit of... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to play. I'm just going to have a lie down, but it's getting too late. Yeah? You're tired, are you? I am a little bit. Man, this is moving along nice. You know, I suppose the question is with this mod, could you drive it all day? And I'd have to say yes, I could drive this all day. Definitely. Really is a nice mod to drive. Pull in for vehicle inspection. I tell you what you can do with your vehicle inspection. Here we go. <laughs> We're going in at such a fast speed. Truck racing game is out, <laughs> Crazy says. Oh, truck racing game. Oh, really? Um, is that actually called truck racing? Uh, there was one that I I tried to get a key from them, but they wouldn't give me a bloody key. Senior, do you miss driving Scania trucks in ATS? Captain wants to know. Captain yes. Oh, every now and then, yeah. I still do drive them. I prefer driving my K200, though. Uh, in the gear, please, senior. There we go. Pardon me. You 
wild woman, you. Mate, how's it going? F Captain Jesse says FIA European Truck Racing. Oh, FIA European Truck Racing. Come on, this damn thing's not shifting again. All right, get into gear. No, not second. Why did you do that? Stupid thing. Damn shifter just reset. Don't know why. Uh, defined properly because everyone's got their own way of driving. <laughs> There's many, many different ways of driving a truck. As long as you drive responsibly and don't do stupid things in a truck, you got to remember it is a. It's like a, a massive vehicle that is extremely heavy and it can kill people so you always have to remember that and that's something you don't want to uh, you don't want to have you know you have an accident and then you, you kill somebody that's something you really don't want on your hands Nerf says shout out shout out shout out Jacob Harrison says so piss on you what's that mean? uh what? no he just says so piss on you He's going to piss on me. Well, that's no good. Why would you do that? I'm not on fire. Crazy says I hope the FIA European truck racing has a Volvo truck. <laughs> yeah, so you can uh, be crazy Volvo driving a Volvo in the FIA. There we go. <laughs> Overtaking, very good. Uh, do these gauges, the gauges look like they're working, don't they? There's the fuel gauge, that's definitely working, you can see that's working. Just kick back and enjoy the ride. Jeff says, what I keep in mind when operating truck is never ever rush it. Sorry, Lean, what was that? You need to speak a little louder. Jeff says, what I keep in mind when operating a truck is to never ever rush it. No, do never ever rush. Never ever rush. The worst thing you can do is rush and then you drop a trailer on its guts and then you gotta pick it up. And that is hard, especially when it's loaded, fully loaded. It's not good. And Jacob says what he meant by that piss on new thing is I have my own ways of driving a big truck. Yeah, just, yeah, well. Everybody does and there's no need to argue about it. No, no, that's, that's, that's the, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying before. Yeah, I know. That everyone has their own way of driving the truck. As long as you're safe and that's as, it. as long as the bottom line is, as long as you do it safely, and you don't hurt other people. I don't care if you grind the gears from here to Sunday. As long as you're doing it safely. Captain Jesse says a Renault does flip over easy, over too easy. Oh. Actually, did um, did you see, Lean, that, uh, that truck that tipped over the other day yeah. in Sydney? It uh, was carrying a load of rubbish, and about one o'clock in the morning, it uh, it rolled it as it was coming around a, a corner in going into um, a tunnel. No, I didn't. But you told me about that. There was a truck rolled over outside the PA today and shut the road down in both directions. Oh, really? This morning, yes. That's, um, that's no good. New Curry winner. I don't know what this means. He says currently trying. 
trying to figure out how to get riff of a field in GE. I don't know what that means, sorry. Does anyone know what that means? Captain Jesse says, oh, oh dear, the senior reviewer of the Scania for ATS crashed the ATS. <laughs> the SR review, sorry. Crazy says, my dad hasn't been trucking. He hasn't been? No. He needs to get on ATS, mate. Jacob says, I have actually double clutched a big truck before. Well, oh, very good. How old American Truck Simulator game, a AB Augusta wants to know. How old? Yes. Is it? Yes. I think it's a couple of years, this one now. Son of Aussie Trucker says, my dad taught me how to drive a truck when I was 15 with a beer in one hand and his belt in the other. Every time I missed a gear or stuff up, I'd get the belt across the hand. <laughs> What, when you did it right, he gave you a beer? <laughs> the Udartian channel says, just came to say hi because it's 2am here. Oh. G'day mate, welcome to the stream. That truck is actually quite loud, isn't it? See if we can turn that down a little bit. There we go, that might be a bit better. You might be able to hear us now. Wow. Okay, now, oh, there we go. Cruise control's working now. It wasn't working, then all of a sudden it did. I think I've broken everything. All my controllers lean. Oh, no. It's from overuse. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna have to get in and repair it, I think. But this is actually, this has got two fuel gauges on the truck, I just noticed. One on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. Overkill much? But at least you can't say, oh, I never saw the fuel gauge. As long as they're both reading the same. Yeah, they're both reading the same, yeah. Still got 434 miles to go, Lean. Little bit of a ways, but we're... We're, uh, we're on the highway, so we're keeping a good speed. Jacob's going to be going out, going. See ya. Thanks, mate, for stopping by. See ya. See you next time. <coughs> um, Jeff says it's ten to nine in the morning where he is. I just tried the EM11 by Mortal and that's loud, way more than this. Captain Jesse says, why is Aussie a weird place that have all truck manufacturers? Trucks. Why is Aussie a weird place that have all truck manufacturers? Trucks. Oh, uh, we don't have all, mate. We don't have a Russian trucks. Jack Cla Dowd says, Good old KW. Yeah, KW, mate. W900A. It's the latest version that you can get off the Steam Workshop, and it's purring along. Just sitting so nice on the uh, on the road here as we're driving along. Itchy leg. I'm scratching it. I am scratching it. <laughs> now, oh, there was. <laughs> oh, what the hell was that? What was that? That was me trying not to cough. <laughs> 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 
that sounded really funny <laughs> on, on the <laughs> headphones. <laughs> Yeah, sort of went <laughs> <laughs> Sorry everyone. Oh dear. Um, there is a new DLC uh, for American Trucks that has coming out, guys. It is the space uh, thing, or was it an update? Uh, I can't remember. But anyway, it's for the 50th anniversary of the space exploration. Uh, sorry, landing on the moon. So, uh, I haven't had a look at it yet. I need to get in and have a look at it and see what it's like. If anyone's had a look at it, please let us know. What do you think? Is it any good? Is it worth it? Son of Aussie Trucker says the truckie that rolled in Sydney had a bag of ice in the cab and it was <gasps> scrap metal, not rubbish. Oh, scrap metal, was it? Oh, sorry. I thought <coughs> it looked like to me it was. Oh, it says weed. The sign said weed back there. Uh, <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, the it looked like rubbish, not the uh, but it's scrap metal, was it? Okay. Um, the York Guardian says here in Colombia we have probably all even Kamikaze, Kamaz, also some Kamaz. weird Kamaz, is it? Yep. Also some weird Chinese brands that only the only stuff I don't see that often is the Daff and Peaks. Um, oh sorry, and Crazy said that his dad's not driving because he had a very bad fall in Perth truck stop, hurt his neck, and yeah. his neck is stable. Yep. Uh, I saw a K200B triple fuel tanker in the wee hours of the morning, Matthew West says. Cool. Cheers, Lean. You, Lean Long. Yeah, I know. All right, give me a break. Howdy, guys. How is everyone? Soz on late, Isaac says. Yeah, no worries, Isaac. We're good, mate. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jeff says, I think it was a space thing tank job DLC. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. I have not yeah. looked into it yet. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not really overly excited by it. But anyway, have a look. Have a look in there. Want, want some new fashion clothes, Lean? There's a shop there that's closed, but we can still look. I don't know. I think we're in a town called Weed. Oops, over over there, Jesus. What the hell am I doing? What the hell is that that I'm hitting? Did I get a flat to run over a kangaroo? Something was making this go wobble wobble. Wobble wobble. I'm wearing a truck simulator here, so I like game Happy Days Kenworth W900 900A trucks, Shane says. What is the minimum amount required for senior to do a donation dance, Matthew wants to know. Donation dance? Uh, what is it? We Five dollars, wasn't it? I can't remember. Was it five dollars? I thought so. We, we just, I don't know, I've been doing donation dances when we get one. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Now, going through the back streets here, we get to see a lot of the scenery, which is good. That's what we want to see. Jack wants to know what engine did you put in? Uh, what did we put in? We put in the, uh, f the 408. The 440408. And then Isaac says, bloody skippies running under the trailers. Yeah, they do it all the time here in Oz. What's that, Skip? You're stuck underneath the truck. Oh... See my controls. There we go. Oop, we're over the wrong side of the road again. Bass says it was a Cat three four zero eight engine. Uh, sorry, yeah, three four zero eight. Thank you very much, Bass. Haven't seen you for a while, Bass. Been busy, mate. Crazy says I'm getting Drew's Empire game on Steam. Drew's Empire game? 
booze. Oh, oh right. Booze. Booze Empire. Your favourite thing, booze. Booze Empire, really? Booze uh, Empire, wow. Little Beavers says, I, bro, I've been watching you since 2017. James Allen says, the Space very DLC good. is worth it. It's very cool. Dijon Baker's here. Hey, hey, I finally made it to a junior senior stream, gaming stream. It's been a while. G'day, mate. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Look at this. Look at this uh, sun sunrise, Lean. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's lovely. One thing this game does well, and that's scenery. Uh, Bo says, here most of the time, just don't say much. Jack says, they need to have an Aussie truck sim. They do, mate. They do need to have an Aussie truck sim. Aussie Mozzie Oak says, g'day, senior. G'day, mate. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. I'm hoping that um, SCS stay true to what they said in previous years about bringing out an Aussie truck simulator uh, in the next couple of years. Whether they do or not, it might... They reckon it was going to be by 2020, but I am reckon it's more around the lines of 2022. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Isaac says, I think I've been here a bit longer than that. Got to love the good old convoys. Jeff says, well, I've got to go hit the store and help out my little brother with a few towns over. Thanks to everyone helped me along with my little SCS problems and everyone have a good one. All right, mate. Hope we could help. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. Dijon says, I'm glad I'm not late this time. We actually are. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, mate. <laughs> Plymouth Falls. It's SES though, they say it and don't do it, Isaac says. Oh, don't say that, mate. We want a Aussie truck sim. Don't be like that. She's being a bit mean to me, Lean. Oh, wouldn't, well. wouldn't get into gear. Clemeth Falls. <coughs> Jack says the stock trucks in Aussie should be 909s and the Superliner and stuff. Uh, Aussie Mozzie Oak says good going, good going good, just enjoying Queensland weather. Captain Jesse says which graphic engine, graphics engine will SCS Aussie truck be on? And Matthew just gave you a donation of five dollars, and it says donation dance time. <laughs> donation dance time. Oh, that's something that we uh, need to mention as well, too, Lean. What was it? It was uh, underneath the donation section. There is the, the little, um, the little dollar sign there. There is a new yeah. stickers that you can do, which actually are some of them are animated, and uh, yeah, you can do those and then it does a little little thing what it does which is really cool so uh, there we go have a look under the dollar sign and you'll see that there is another a new way of donating that you can uh, do in there it's called stickers so uh, have a look at that guys there's some really cute things to to have a go of on there so yeah really cool so that was your trucker says, I think I'm sick or something because I even thought about buying a Mac or a Star, but I'm sticking to Kenworth. Yeah, best do that, mate. Best do that. All right, so thank you, Matthew West, for your donation. Donation dance time. Let's do that donation dance, shall we? Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your donation. Yeah, there we go. Excuse me. I burped, Lean. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. 
Dion says, I say SCS, do keep their word. I mean, take a look at what they say about 1.3 update was going to be big. Uh, Isaac says, I'm just having a laugh to myself because I think SCS uh, aren't from Australia. They don't add Kenworths in. I would be furious. Oh, no, they have to put Kenworths in, yeah. When and they get not, just the the, not just the American Kenworths either. There has to be the Aussie trucks. Can't just cheat and put a bloody American trucks in there. I want to see the K200, the 909, you know? That's what I want to see. Two hundred and ninety eight miles to go. The miles are just flying past, Lee. No, they're not. <laughs> yes, they are. No, they're not. I'm having fun. I'm sure everyone else is having fun too. Why aren't you having fun, Lee? I'm tired. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's for dinner? That's the whole thing. I've got to think about it. I oh. forgot to take something out. Oh, did you? <laughs> so I'm thinking about what I can do. Hmm, maybe something quick like noodles. Yeah, I was thinking maybe that. I don't know. I'll figure it out when the stream finishes. Just I'll go and have a look. Two minute noodles each. There you go. Have some two minute noodles each. Yuck. Yuck. Jaffles. Let's do jaffles, Lean. You don't have a jaffle maker. Oh. I thought we did. I thought we bought the Jaffle Maker. We've got a Toasted Sandwich Maker. That's not a Jaffle Maker. Toasted Sandwich Maker, yeah. We can have Toasted Sandwiches. But we had a Jaffle Maker. I was pretty sure we did. We do. We don't. We have a Sandwich Press and a Toasted Sandwich Maker. Look at this bit of straight road. Uh, Noah Jackson says, I actually love to dance. Makes me laugh every time. Isaac says, even the old Superliners and older ones too. Captain Jesse says, will SES have to get on board with the Unreal Engines for Aussie Truck Simulator? Um, I don't know if they're going to do that. Honestly, I don't, don't know. Dijon Baker says, hot wings and pizza. Ha! Huh. What's funny is I'm having noodles too. Beef and shrimp. I don't know what we're having. Hot wings and pizza. Hot wings and pizza. Beer. Hot wings and pizza. Oh, look at that. Old school tractor. Holy crap. Did you see that? That was nice. I haven't been out this way before. Man, that is one hell of a straight road. Keep on trucking. Mrs. Keep Senior on should trucking. come say hi. Uh, if she feels like it. Yeah, no, I, I don't like um, pushing people to want to join in on the stream. Do I, Lee? No. If you don't want to do it, you don't do it. All right, see you, everyone. That's all right, Lee. If you want to go, that's fine. <laughs> I I did ask you before. I didn't tell you you had to do it. So I said, "Do you want to join in today?" And you said, "Yeah." Um, hammering along at the moment. Forty through here. There's a restaurant lean. Maybe we should pull in there. Oh, that reminds me, one of the guys that I, uh, there's a big bear on the, on the wall there, on the, the bear in there? yeah, on the building, uh, one of the guys that I deliver to, uh, is, he's leaving his job and he is going to work for his wife's restaurant, a Japanese restaurant. So I got the address, we have to maybe go and have a look one time. Maybe. They do have dine-in, but they mostly do takeaway, apparently. Maya says that Super Chat doesn't work for him. He got stuck on the loading screen. Maybe the computer's just too slow. Oh, really? 
don't, don't say things like that, Lee. Why not? Mine's, mine's a piece of shit, so I can tell other people this is probably a piece of shit too. Um, <laughs> Dijon says, let's have a vote. I say hot wings and pizza. I, ha- I say hot wings and pizza. Even I say though who's paying. Isaac says, is it straight enough to put cruiser contro- cruise control on, pour a beer and come back? Uh-huh. <laughs> no. Uh, Jack says he's playing ATS at the moment and the space DLC is alright but not worth worth it he reckons. Mmm. So Jack, a... Jesse says hot wings. Baz says I had pizza and wings. There's uh, so there is two there's a couple of people said yes it is and there's uh, someone that said no it's not. So yeah. it's, opinion. Yeah, well, it's going to be interesting because with the skins, do you just get paint skins or do you actually get bobble heads and stuff like that or? Son of Aussie Trucker says, I'm off to wash my dad's K200 now. I had to bring it out of retirement because the doctor said yesterday I could start driving. Well, that's good, mate. Um, Your dad's K200's coming out of retirement. Very Isaac interesting. Says, nice, have a good one. And Captain Jesse says, drive the K200 safe. Thanks for stopping by. See you. Bye. <laughs> See you later. Now don't be a stranger. Should get you to say it like Granny says it on the Beverly Hillbillies. Y'all come back now. You hear? Oh no, my throat. That it killed my throat. <laughs> That was one of the old old shows that I could I could watch time and time again. The Beverly Hillbillies. Zachary says hello. G'day mate, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Three votes for hot wings and pizza. Oh, it's looking like hot wings and pizza. Looking like wings going up to cook. That looked like uh, Vector said no, he didn't want hot wings and pizza. Uh, Crazy says SES is sending the two small teams of two trucking show in Texas and Pac West in satellite. PAX West in satellite? S- um, Seattle, sorry. Seattle, wow. Sorry. That's going to be interesting. Oh, what the hell's I'll happened here? Out soon. We're, we're nearly done. Alright, I'll sort it out. We're nearly done. Oh, it's stupid, bloody. There we go. Hang on, my shift is playing up again. There we go. Um, son of Ozzy Trucker says to Captain Jesse, I'm a bit afraid to drive it. Jack Dowd says, I don't know if these bobble heads yet. If there's bobble heads yet, I just got it and went into paint jobs straight away. I'll check when I'm done in this 909. Uh, John Bush says, yes, it was a great show. Beverly Hillbillies, yeah. <laughs> uh, I didn't mind the movie too much either. I thought that was okay. Not as good as the real show, but... I just thought that the... Um, what's his name? Jethro was a bit of a... Dingleberry in the movie. Oh yeah, we're I'm actually uh, we're looking at going to the Lowood Truck Show. Thinking about it, we have to discuss it, don't we, Lee? Well, we did. You you guys were going. I can't work. Yeah, I know. You I just work. work all the time. Mm. You do. You just work all the time. Anyway. Yes. So we're going to. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm going to take some time off around that time anyway. So I thought, well, that'd be a good time to go down and enjoy Lowood, then go to the truck show. So they got a lot of custom trucks there, modified trucks and stuff like that. So it's going to be a very interesting. Um, one, I haven't been to a modified truck show, so that's going to be fun. And um, they've also got truck burnouts as well, which is going to be interesting. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Damn you. Bloody shifter. So they've also got, I think there's hot rods going to be there as well. So, you know, a lot of things I like. And then if they've got beer and they've got some food that's not too expensive, I'm going to be in heaven. <laughs> One thing I hate when you go to a show and they have food that is three, four times the price that you would buy it. You know, I hate that. Why is it so much more expensive just because it's a damn show? Costs nothing to get in. Does it? The actual low well, would. That's what it says. No, really? Cost free. Wow, that is great. Makes it even better. What's going on up here? They got cops. Is it it's a cop? Um, yeah. Dijon says, I wanted to ask when will the next World of Trucks event will begin, who knows? Ooh, who knows? It's the first time SCS is going to a crazy, says. Not sure. Jack Dowd said, I just rolled a 909 watching your stream. Oh, mate, what are you doing? <laughs> Dijon says, wish I could bring my truck, but it's on ATS. And Byron wants to know, hey up, hey sup. G'day, mate, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hey sup. Hey sup. Hey sup. Hey, Hassip? 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 Hossip? Hassip? 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 What's the speed limit? 55. It's a big uh, area back there I've not been to. Oh, I think I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> well, Newsman Ivan says, "Hey, Sup. Hey, 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 <laughs> now where are we I have no idea where we are I'm going to have to have a look on the map I think let's have a look um, we are we are uh, up here that's where we are and you're probably 7,000 miles away you've lost track haven't you <laughs> Yes, I have. Uh, Jack says, well, you better be grateful because you just broke my bank. Broke your bank? How did he break the bank? I don't know. I don't know how I broke your bank. Oh, he, because he rolled the 909. So he just had to pay all his money to get it fixed because he was watching your stream. Dwayne Lawson says, hey, Senior, what's going on? I'm just joining. Um... Yeah, not much, mate. We're just reviewing this uh, Kenworth W900. So far, it's, you know, it's got a few little errors and, you know, things that are a bit wrong. But overall, it's quite a good mod. Um, Dijon says, bless you, crazy. So, Senior, are you going to VidCon in Melbourne this year? Ah, uh, no, mate. I won't be going to VidCon in Melbourne, no. As much as I'd love to, um... Really, I don't, I don't know if I can get the time off, to be honest. Work, mate. It, you know, rules your life. It's the way it is, son. Old school trucking simulator. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Old school trucking simulator. That would be awesome. Get like um, old Peterbilts and old Kenworths, stuff like that in there. You gotta keep maintaining it because it breaks down, things like that. Q 
You were hammering along. So you keep saying, Dijon says I'd go to VidCon, but they banned me for not showing up. They banned you for not showing up. They banned him for not showing up. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty-five through here. Wow. Wow! Look at all this stuff they got down here. Look, there's a horse monument thing on the side of the road. Whatever. They've really gone to town on these latest DLCs, haven't they? Like, all this road here, I've never been on before. Never been on this. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about SES going to Pack West? Yes, we did. Peterbilt 352 is a good truck, Byron says. For an old, yeah, that old school, um, old truck simulator. Crazy says, I remember you play Outback Trucking Australia game one time. Dwayne <laughs> Lawson says, I like that mod, it's a good truck, but the only thing I don't like about it is there's no screen to tell you what gear you're in. Yeah, that's why I always have the, um, thing up here. Byron says I that do thing. the speed limit as well when I play ATS. I mean the gauges are pretty good on this, better than a lot of other mods, that's for sure. Some mods you can't even see the what's written on the gauge. Look at these windy roads. So much fun. Yeehaw! 85 miles, Lean. Not, not long. Gotta slow it down through this section here. Slow it down. Slow it down, yeah. This stupid Xbox console thing just popped up and said somebody said hey. <laughs> I hated how it does that. What do you Microsoft dominate your computer? You, Matthew West says, do you have realistic fuel consumption on? Uh I don't know. Probably I think probably not. I no, I think I do. I think I do. I'd have to double check that, though. Frank says, new name, old school trucking bandit edition. That'd be like a limited edition one, Frank. The bandit edition. Ripping through these gears. Oh, look at that. It's got wheat on the side. Rip. Rip. Um, thank God I got the junior senior money cheat to pay for that 909 I rolled. Yeah. <laughs> Jack says, Dijon says, yeah, need some banjo music. Yep. Ding, 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 ding. says, have you guys ever backed into a tight dock in the dark and it's a pain to do? Um, I have backed into a dock uh, early hours of the morning, a finger dock, and um, but there was lights on, so you know it wasn't too much of an issue. And 
Dijon says, uh, Dwayne says, I like old trucks, Dijon. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Aussie legend just put a thing. He, he just sent me a message saying, bring bring out the uh, 900. <laughs> He's watching it on uh, Xbox, I'd say. Uh. <laughs> Very funny, mate. Very funny. All right. I wonder where that's going to go. Hmm. It's going right. to go wherever it wants to go. Because it can. Come on, mate, go. Don't stop, you jerk. Who are you calling a jerk, jerk? That guy in the, in the truck back there. It looks like it was a ram. A ram? Yep. Alright, there's a greyhound. A bus? Yeah. <laughs> or a dog. Did you run over a dog? You no, know. I did not run over a dog. Mm -hmm. You better not. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, mate. Oz Aussie Legend says, yeah, mate. He's watching on Xbox. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. There is the way station three quarter mile, and we got forty nine miles to go, Lee. Forty nine miles to go. They're like forty nine bottles of beer on the wall. Uh, Dijon says should have blown your horn and flicked him off. <laughs> You can bypass this way station. Thank you. I didn't want to go in there anyway. You were going to anyway. No, I wasn't. I don't want to go in there. It stinks. I said you were going to bypass it anyway. Probably. Yeah. 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 Um, Jack says, I just bought a Logitech G29 steering wheel for American truck and it's on its way. Great. Frank's I hope senior. you enjoy it. Did you see when you start the truck up, the shifter moves, and when you do your headlights, the windows go up? Uh, the animation, yeah, that was added in a long time ago, that was. So I didn't really think that that was something new to bring up, but anyway. So why do your windows go up because you turn the headlights on? That doesn't happen in my car. <laughs> it's just the animation for the... But what if you don't want to have your windows up? Then you don't have them up. But it does it when you turn your headlights on. Let's see, I'll show you. <coughs> there we go. See how the window. Thanks for that, Lane. Oh, yeah, see how the window good. came down. No, that just that just stinks. It stinks. Uh, Doesn't stink. I hate the way stations, Byron. Um, Byron says. Byron. Sorry, I have trouble saying people's names sometimes. Yeah, I do too. I massacre names left, right, and centre. Even when you're telling me straight to my face, I'm, yeah, whatever. And 60 through here, so that's pretty good. Cooking with gas. We don't have gas. You'd love gas, wouldn't you? That. I reckon you'd use gas all the time. If you had a lot of gas, you'd you use it all the time, I reckon. Gas. Hey, get out of the Max Superliner and do 120 kilometers. <laughs> uh, mm. It's not a Max Superliner, it is a W900A. Dijon says I crashed into a way station before. Best worst decision ever. Did you hit the cop that was in there? That <laughs> would have been funny. This reminds me of the bloody turnoffs they got at the gateway extension. Uh, Jack says we got done in an IHS line the other day at a way station. Oh. Oh, I can't get rid of this tickle down the back of my throat at the moment. 
Drink something. I'm trying to, and it's making it worse. Uh -huh. Byron, Byron says, where can I get the Logitech G2290 steering wheel and pedals at? Ah, oh, Siri, she'll tell you. Hang on. Oh, damn shifter. Damn shifter. <coughs> it flicked gears on me last second, you know, and that's why it wasn't says. changing. Damn thing. All right, here we go. There's Warbert. We'll Warbert. jump into Warbert, yeah. Warbert. Uh, but Dijon says, no, I didn't get a chance to hit the cop car because I wrecked my truck. Donut stand. Donut stand over there. Mm. Giving away free donuts. Free donuts! Uh, receiving area. Yes, that's where we want to go. Into the receiving area. This looks like a Bunnings. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, we can go around the side there. We don't have to park it in the dock. Speaking of docks, I spent a lot of the morning this morning fixing Ooh, up. You were speaking of docks. Yeah, <laughs> I was. Uh, I was spent a lot of this morning uh, fixing up the damn Dock. containers on the docks. Yeah, because the guys that come by that drop off the trailers are doing it incorrectly and they don't bloody put them in properly. <laughs> and I have to go and fix it up again. Kevin JT wants to know, do you feel it's worth buying the new farm simulator every year? Um, yeah, because they update it quite a lot. So and you get a lot of DLC that you didn't get. If you, I mean, you get a lot of DLC <coughs> that they added in last year. They put it in the the newer year. So Jack Dowd says we are all miss gear senior. Happened to the best of us. Yeah, mate. I know. I even do it in real life too, and I curse and swear as well in real life. I had a B double bungle today. It's always with that. Actually, you know what? It's always with that same B double set. I always mess up that same B double set, and I get it crossed up. It's like, why? I wonder why I get that crossed up. Don't know why. But uh, it's. Yeah, for some reason it just uh, might be because it's different to the others. I don't know. It's not a high cube or anything, so. Anyway, don't know. Anyway, no. There we go. We're at our destination. We made it to the destination. We made it, Lean. Farming Simulator 19 is better than 17. I now reckon it is. Start a big fight. Yeah, we'll start a fight now. Let's fight, 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 fight. <laughs> Here we go. Bingo. Next level. Continue. Thank you very much. And it was excellent delivery. There we go. Well, that was good, Lean. Yeah. I enjoyed it that. Good. It's a good drive. That was good. Good drive. Good well, guys. First try, Byron says. Yeah. First try. That's it. Um, well, guys, that is the W900, the Kenworth W900A, and it is a free mod that you can get from the Steam Workshop. If you just click on Show More down below, uh, there is a link down there that will take you directly to the actual Steam Workshop where you can download this mod and have some fun and blah, 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 blah. Um, Dijon says, that's almost like buying a new phone when a new one comes out, especially iPhones. What do you drive in real life? Uh, I drive a... Everybody nuts. I drive everyone nuts, of course. Uh, but I actually drive a Kenworth... Uh, I, I was going to say W900. No, a Kenworth uh, a, a 104. The K104 is what I drive at the moment. Um, I do also drive many other trucks like the Scania, the brand new Scania. Uh, what else is... Uh, 409, uh, 609... I think we got uh, the 4800. Uh, there's there's heaps of trucks that we got. 
uh, around at work, so I get to drive them all. Yay! Uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, there we go, Liam. That's go. that's this mod review today. Overall, basically, it's a good mod. Uh, just a few little, little minor little things uh, that, you know, yeah, I suppose you could live with. I suppose you could live with. Uh, once you get the truck set up, <laughs> configured and that, you, you probably don't go in and have a look at that again anyway, so... But, um, yeah, and it comes with, you know, some bandit skins. And you can download the trailer as well. Um, I didn't put the link in the description for the trailer. Uh, because all you do is just go s type in your Steam Workshop Smokey and it comes up with that. So, there you go. Pretty good. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, I will be streaming at 9am Australian Eastern Standard Times. And what will we be streaming? Well, that's going to be a surprise, but it will have to do with the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Um, and it will be fun. And there will be giveaways. And there will it will be fun. So there we go. Should be good. Can't wait to have a go. Yeah. And unfortunately, Lean, we won't have you because you'll be working. No, I'm working. But anyway, thank you, Lean, for joining today. That's okay. No I worries. I had a lot of fun um, playing the game and that. Yeah, it was great, thanks. Yeah, it was great having me talking like Scruffy. I'm not talking like Scruffy, I'm talking like me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, no, it was good, thanks everyone. Thank you very much to everyone for those donations today. It is much appreciated. I really, really do like that. And we also had a subscriber in there as well. Which was... Oh, damn it, my glasses aren't working properly at the moment. Is it full noise? I can't really read that for some reason. But thank you very much for subscribing. Much appreciated. Ah, well. Um, well, guys, look, thank you very much for joining in. Um, if you like this video, then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass. And if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming, then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out. And while you're there, why don't you hit that subscribe button? But until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. It's been a good day. It has. I had a lot of fun. Did you have a lot of fun, Scruffy? Yeah, I did. Hey, Scruffy. Tucky. Oh, are we haven't Tucky for dinner. No, not 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 again, please. Oh, no. no. <laughs> it's too much. It's way too much. See you, Isaac. See you, Car20. See you, Matthew. See you, Dijon. See you, Baz. Baz, you need to speak up more so we know we know you're there, mate. See you, Crazy. See you, Jack. See you, Byron. See you, Captain Jesse. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Don't forget, if you want to see more mod reviews, head over to Junior Senior Gaming on YouTube channel, our YouTube channel and check it out. There's heaps more there. Plenty. Check it out. Check out the chicken. Check out the chicken. What's the chicken doing? The chicken's doing something funny, I reckon. It's pecking. Chicken's doing a dance. Chicken dance? Do the chicken mm. dance. That's what you need to do, Lee. Chicken yeah. do the dance. Hot wings and pizza. No. No. See you, James. See you, Frank. Thanks, Frank, for your help. See you, Isaac. Bye.